Hello, my name is Rita Spector, right? Rita Spector? Rita Spector? And I'm here interviewing the star of the latest book of the Harry Potter series, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the man himself, Harry Potter. Thank you for joining us today. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Harry, I have a few questions for you. How does it feel to be the star of a book? You know, it's actually, like, kind of good. You like the star? <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Yeah. So, tell me, Harry, how did you feel when you got that letter from Hogwarts? Very, very very excited. Very excited? Yeah. Wow. How did it come to you? I don't know. Um, I just, one day when I got some mad about like one of my cousins, they were so like, they were laughing at me and I was so mad. I just... You did something magical. Yeah. And then you got your letter to Hogwarts soon after that, huh? Yeah. Wow, that's very really interesting. Uh, Thanks for sharing. <laughs> so, Harry, who are your friends in Hogwarts? Hermione Granger and Juan, Juan Weasley. Oh, wow. That's very interesting. So, Hermione, she's not a purebred, is she? No, she is pure blooded, but she's still good. She's still a good witch. And you yourself. Are not pure blood, are you? No. No. I'm half like pure blood. And and half half wizard and half muggle. Yeah. But that doesn't stop you. I hear you've been doing excellent in your courses. You're getting all A's, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. Very good job, Harry. So, is there anything you want to take away want me to take away from this interview? Is there anything you want to leave us, the audience, with about the life of Harry Potter? Yes, um, I know, like, it's so hard to be a wizard, right? Mm -hmm. When you're 10, it's so hard to go to Hogwarts. But you just have to. You just have to do it, even though it's hard. Yeah. You just have to do it. Wow, that's some very good wisdom from one of the Gryffindors, the star of the Harry Potter series, Harry Potter himself. Thank you so much, Harry, for coming out and joining us and giving us this interview. Well, I just want to share something else. Oh, sure. Yeah, like, I didn't want them. I didn't, Hedwig died because one of the, um, like, one of the, like, mouth eaters, mm -hmm. one of the death eaters, Killed him. <gasps> Poor Hedwig. Wow. Well, yeah. What happened then? He he got he got zapped by um the the electrocutive of a wand. Oh wow. So that's so tragic. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing, Harry, and we will see you guys next time. Do not subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>